greetings and welcome back to my channel i know it's been such a long time so thank you for joining me staying connected subscribing to the cannabis doula youtube my name is melanie julian mj founder and creator of the cannabis doula author of the cannabis doula the transparent enlightenment of my own rebirth also the author of twerk and i am excited to welcome you here so i want to share a quick video like I said, I know it's been a minute and I've been meaning to do this video for a long time. So since I have my birth bag right here with me, I'm going to show you what is in my birth bag, the Cannabis Doula Edition. So for prospective clients specifically who want to see what type of tools I work with during a birth, um, you'll get a peek into that. Um, just a quick disclaimer. Some of the things that I carry in my birth bag are not currently in here because I'm actually in the middle of teaching a seven-week course, the Holistic Cannabis Consumption, Pregnancy, Childbirth, and Postpartum live online course. So I'm using some of my CBD products for that course. So I don't have them here physically with me, but um, I will mention those that I usually keep in my birth bag. So this is my doula bag um you can see here it's my beautiful bag it's blue it's essentially a duffel bag and i feel like the bag really matters um i was actually looking for one that had wheels um because it can get really heavy i do keep a lot of things in my birth bag um i do believe you know my hands are important but i like to have a lot of tools as well just in case so sometimes I'll have my bag packed with stuff. Other times it's pretty light. Um, but this is my bag. It's blue. You can kind of see how big it is. Uh, it's not really that big, but it's blue and it has my favorite print on here, Paisley print. I absolutely love this bag. So let's check out what's in my doula bag. has a lot of compartments as well so I keep a lot of stuff in here I'm gonna start on top it's really a mess I'm actually in the process of moving so I'm gonna be cleaning this out which is why I figured this would be a perfect time to do a video so I keep my little birth notebook which is notes that I have on my clients I'm also keep a doula book this is the one that I'm currently keeping in my bag also have a cannabis doula brochure and business cards just in case I meet a nurse or a doctor or somebody who wants to know more information about what I do um that's in there I also have this flaxseed heat heating pad you could put it in the microwave and heat it up or you could put it in the freezer to cool it down which is really awesome it's really one of my favorite things and it's really soft and plush so I've used this um, for the transitions when it's when the mother gets hot or when she gets cold. I can just alternate between heat and cool, so that's great. Also have a vibrator here um, for clitoral stimulation and also for massage, little massager. Um, so I keep this as well inside my doula bag. I have some water wipes. Let's see, I have some cacao nibs. Um, I'll usually, I'm actually probably gonna replace these soon. Um, but this is really great for extra energy. This is a plant-based superfood. Um, it's also really great for energy, really great for um, increasing our anandamide levels, which is a part of our endocannabinoid system. It's a natural endocannabinoid, it's our bliss molecule. So having this really helps during the birth. So I keep that for me and for the mom as well, for the birthing person. I have some little, let's see, those are, they're all like stuck together, but I have some little towels <laughs> that I use as well if I need to wipe something down or if someone needs a towel, if there's like a, a spill or something. Um, I have some masks in here, of course. But I also have my fan 
that I use for fanning off my clients when she's having her pressure waves. This really helps. When it gets hot, like it's hot right now, um, you can see how beautiful it is. This is a beautiful handmade piece that I absolutely love. And it is essential part of my doula bag. So I also have some massage balls. Um, this is really a great tool. Sometimes you'll see doulas, they have the um, tennis balls that you can put in a sock. This is essentially the same thing um, for rubbing, getting that tension pressure out. I use this a lot on my clients' lower back. So this is um, that. It also comes with these other two as well. Great for different types of pressure, applying different types of pressure. To different points of the body so i keep that nice and neat in my bag as well comes in handy so my hands aren't hurting which is great for very long births so let's see like i said it's a mess in here <laughs> i need to clean this out so i have some tea lights as well so for the birthing places that can't light candles we have these even if we can light candles, I feel like these are just nice and romantic. So I use these for my clients as well. Keep them in this cute little bag. Let's see what else we have. Some more tea lights in here. Uh, pins, masks, um, hand sanitizer. That's usually in here too. What else is over here? Business cards. All that good stuff. Some chapstick. I usually keep two chapsticks, one for the birthing person and one for me. I usually use Carmack, so that, that'll be in here too as well, usually. Keep this in my bag. <laughs> this is, can you see it? This is the birth deck. Um, this is a really great tool that I like to use um, during birth for comfort measures. Um, I like to read off these to my clients or if it's just my client and her birthing partner, then they can use these as well, um, which is a really great tool. It has hypnosis scripts on here, so I use that a lot. Um, it's just really a great tool to have. If it's a long birth, we can play, you know, grab a card from the deck and do whatever the card um, says. So these are great for comfort techniques. You gotta keep that in there. So I also keep, this is all over the place, but I keep these um, tea bags in here. I know it's a lot, but I just threw them in here. I keep these tea bags and some tea. This is some CBD tea. Usually before my births, I try to put the loose leaf tea in the bags um, so that it's easy to just grab it out um, and make some tea. So CBD tea essential always making some tea either for mostly for my client but also for me as well um really great for energy um and for balance pain relief relaxation all that kind of stuff so this is some green heifa can you see that green heifa fix a tea hemp flower hibiscus and peppermint definitely recommend green heifa farm for your hemp tea needs she has some great blends there. I also keep this, which is some CBD honey sticks that I pick up locally. You can kind of see what this is looking like. Uh, so you may be familiar with honey during the birthing time. Really great for that extra boost of energy. CBD actually provides um, that pain relief and relaxation aspect to it as well so i keep my cbd honey sticks absolutely if i don't have cbd honey sticks then i'll have some infused cbd honey for the same purposes so the other cbd products that i took out of my bag that i'm using actually to teach my class with that are currently not in here i have um cbd salve so a salve that is great for relaxation and pain relief that i usually rub on the mother, the birthing person, rubbing on her back. You know, really essential for getting me through. It also smells like lavender. 
Um, so I use that a lot. I actually use most of it, so I have to be up on that one. I keep CBD massage oil as well, um, which is a little actually like a bottle, a little square bottle of CBD. So I can just squirt out the massage oil and rub it, massage mom's feet, back, whatever. Really great for pain relief as well and relaxation. Also to keep some, um, let me see if I have them actually, some CBD tablets, which are essential, pretty much essential for me because they provide really great um, energy and rebalance. Like when I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired. These are my best friend and I've actually, <laughs> I've used and I eat them like at least once or twice a day. Can you see how many I have left? So this is not the tablet. This is just what they keep in here to keep them fresh. Um, but this is the little tablet. So this is CBD fruit tarts. They are 25 milligrams of CBD per tart. So these are really pretty much for me. <laughs> um, but I do offer them to my client if she wants one. It's really great for if you have like a bad taste in your mouth, if you need something to suck on. CBD tablets, so I keep those. I have to re-up on those as well. I use them a lot, and it actually comes with a lot of them in there. Um, 1,500 milligrams of CBD. So these are actually my favorite. And the CBD products that I'm using currently are from Lazarus Naturals. I'm um, so shout out to them. Um, so I mentioned the CBD body massage oil, the CBD salve that I use. The CBD tarts. I also use a CBD tincture, so I keep that in my bag as well, which helps me get through births as well. Helps my clients more so because I don't really use them um, during the birth, but I use them for my clients' CBD tinctures for a lot of the same things: balance, minimizing pain, getting us through the birthing time. I should say getting the birthing person through the birthing time because it's really on them. So if they have a variety of consumption methods, usually before the birth, if I'm working with a client, you know, prenatally, we talk about which, consum which consumption methods are best, which consumption methods that they would like to use. So I usually keep a variety just in case. I had a client who was using flour, so I had my um vaporizer in my bag as well which can be pretty heavy but definitely worth the whole experience so you can see in my bag i have this <laughs> which goes to my tabletop vaporizer which i bring either to prenatal appointments or the birth depending on the location or i bring it um postpartum to my client's place and they can consume via vaporizing um, that way. And I think that's it. I mentioned the oils. Oh, no. So I usually keep um, essential oils as well. So I usually have my essential oil boxes in here as well. Which usually, can, usually carry around six or so essential oils. So I usually keep them in my bag. Most of the time I have my diffuser, <laughs> but I need a smaller one um, because it can get pretty heavy. But I think that's pretty much it. My notebook, my book, just in case I need to read some. Oh, one of my clients gave me this and I threw it in my birth bag as well. Just in case I need a cute little notebook to take notes in. <laughs> that's not the yellow one for just for clients. So I have this in here too. Um, and I think that's it. So if you have any questions, definitely let me know. If you want to learn more about the Cannabis Doula birth packages, I do offer virtual services. Um, so I actually, if you're my virtual point, my virtual clients, um, and I don't have all this stuff physically at your birth, I will actually send a, I call it a Cannabis Doula care package with CBD infusions. For you to use either during your pregnancy during your birth or during the postpartum period 
Um, so you have that physical support as if I were there with you. <laughs> um, but for my in-person clients, this is what my doula bag usually consists of. Sometimes I also keep like a, a change of clothes and some deodorant. Pretty much a change of shirt and some deodorant as well. Um, so as you can see, that's why I like my rolling <laughs> backpack, my rolling suitcases I was trying to find. Because um, it can get pretty heavy. So usually when I'm carrying my, my doula bag, I usually keep it in one location. <laughs> so I don't have to pick it up and carry it around to each room and all that kind of stuff. So that's in my birth bag, my doula bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know if you have any questions. I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, and if I did, maybe I'll leave it in the description. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Bye.